Well, good morning. Welcome back to Dovecote. It's uh, Saturday, 29th of October. Got down as again last week, pretty late afternoon. Struggled to get the rods out before dark, but we did manage. Um, as I was getting the rods out, I saw probably nine or ten shows, ten fish rolling. A few of them were the same ones, obviously. Um, but they were in a, a real big spread of an area uh, off to my left, so I've got one over there. Um, and as you've probably guessed, I'm back in the left hand pad swim with having the one fish last week and the, the temperatures aren't brilliant. Um, I felt it was probably just my best bet just to get back into the area, hopefully with a few more fish around. Um, I've had another bream this morning, probably around about eight or nine pound. Uh, and I've seen a few more fish showing in the general area over to the left hand side. So it's looking pretty good. Um, the wind's still pushing in a southerly direction as it was last week. Um, not that I think the wind's playing a big part at this time of year anyway, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, we'll sit back and hopefully we'll have a carp or two.
run through the rig again. This is the same rig um, that I had the 30 on last week. Um, but basically, I've just got a little bag slid over the end of the hook there just to stop the hook being masked when I cast out into the weed. Um, the bag mix uh, consists of, I've got some up and down mix in there from Solar, a little bit of squid and octopus for and there's a few other little bits and pieces in there, a few pellets, a few crumbed up club mix boilies, um, a little bit of the Mariyuku uh, ground baits. Um, basically now, what I'll get is the Chinese hook bait dip, which is a little bit special compared to all the other dips. All the other dips are oil based, um, whereas this one is an actual thick, gloopy, food based sort of glug. So if I, uh, if I just give that a dip in there. Push it all the way in. There we go. As you can see a lovely thick consistency there. Real deep purpley red colour. That's gonna hug all the silt sediments. That's gonna be lingering around my hook bait for at least five or six hours I'd think. So yeah, we're all dipped now, let's get this one back out. See if we can catch another one. They're still showing. So let's hope so. Well, it's late afternoon now. Um, I've had a little bit of a walk around. Uh, there wa wasn't any more fish out overnight. Uh, there's probably around about nine or ten of us on the lake now. Uh, so the location's been right. Um, still got the uh, southerly wind kicking into this this bank to my left. Um, we're just getting a few few spots of rain. I think there's a few uh, few showers coming our way, which could be good. So, just a little update, but uh, I'll keep you posted if we have anything else. Well, good morning. Uh, since we last spoke, uh, unfortunately, I lost a fish as it was getting dark last night um, rod wrapped round line peeling away uh, and as I lifted in something cut me off so I lost about 80 yards of line um, quickly I grabbed my marker rod though cast it out there picked up the line and uh, the fish had got away with it by this point but at least I got all the, uh, the end tackle back uh, wouldn't want to keep 80 yards of line out there um, Probably two hours after that I had a bream on the same rod. Uh, and then all quiet through the night. Uh, the clocks went back last night so we've had an extra hour in bed. Uh, but apart from that it's been uh, pretty quiet. I've got a couple more hours left now. It was around about this time yesterday that I had that fish so... I'm still confident. Nice big grey clouds outside. Let's see if we can get one. Solar, 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 solar.